Here's the shot. YouTube, I am so excited right now because uh, I have a brand new Laird frame from my sponsor, the Link Foundation, uh, sitting, waiting for me right now at the front door. And uh, I would love uh, for you guys to join. We're gonna open the box and, uh, how you doing? Um, so yeah, the Link Foundation, they make the, uh, the uh, recycled bicycle chain bracelets. I've got the pink link on right now. There's also the Stay Strong link, there's the Mad Dog link, and there's over a dozen different charity links. Uh, just go to linksupport.org and uh, it's all on there. And uh, I'm here at uh, the founder of the Link Foundation, uh, his home right now, and um, we ordered a custom layered frame. Um, like months ago, it's been like, it's been over three months and now it's here today at his doorstep and uh, we're gonna unbox it and check it out. And uh, my good friend, Sean uh, from Chicago is also here in town. He helped design this frame as well. And so um, I'm just so pumped because I've waited so long for this thing. And it is finally here, a layered frame from the Link Foundation. And uh, by the way, check out his sick Jeep here. I love this thing. There's a the logo right there. Looks so sick. Look at that thing. I'm gonna hop in that thing later. How we doing, boys? What's up, man? What's up, Dustin? How are you? Jeff Trodal, founder of the Link Foundation. How you doing, bud? Very good, very good. And uh, my good friend and uh, personal BMX bike uh, mechanic, assistant and mechanic builder. here, Sean McElroy. How you doing, Sean? I'm doing good. Thank you. So we've got some exciting news today. Very exciting news. Very exciting. And I want to say thank you. Absolutely. Thank you to the Link Foundation Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Uh, we got a little note on here to Dustin. For over five years of donating time and unreal energy and ideas for all the 2,500 links moved all over the world, which is crazy because now looking back to when we first met was over five years ago. And it was like the start of the factory. And now to think, I'm just having little flashbacks of you know, holding the links up at the Great Wall of China and yeah. going to Simple Session in Estonia and having Ryan Sheckler hold Mad Dog's link, Stay That's Strong true. links. He even wore one uh, in the, the, the award ceremony on the podium. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's so many, it's just crazy. I haven't even like thought of or the, the last five years. The day you walked in my garage and said, we should powder coat these. <laughs> Dude, seriously, and then, and it's crazy too, because all these uh they're all, they're all recycled bicycle chains and they they start um well they start here but then um also our neighbors at the warehouse they're actually powder coaters and they powder coat every single little link and it's just the kind of the the chain of the the family involved and everyone involved in this is just it's incredible it's, it's got quite a quite a story that's for sure absolutely so I never would have imagined um, here we'd be uh, in your garage five years later and we'd have a brand new custom designed and built uh, Laird I mean Laird frames didn't exist back then you know <laughs> yeah I'm sure he was probably ma making them back then but uh, um, so what do we know about Laird frames Sean you've got one I got one custom built custom anything you want any design they make on, anything on the yeah. he he'll do anything so, for you specifics yeah it's a great frame, really rigid tubing. I'm very happy with it. And so it. what number of frame do you have? I'm 150. So he has the so 150th yeah. layered frame, and this is number 231. 231. Like and so, yeah, and so every, um, every frame is totally different. Everyone's uh, specialized that you can put your own little, um, what do you call that? Logo little, on little... the seat stay. Yep. So. What are some examples of ones you've seen out there? I've got everything. Uh, Superman symbol I've seen. Superman. Mine is uh, my buddy's jump wings from Afghanistan. Okay. So the bottle openers. Bottle openers. Bottle yeah, openers. Bottle openers. I've seen the, some states. The state of Minnesota for yeah. sure. Some shovels for the, the dirt cats. Dirt and guys. Yeah. Um, I saw uh, one of the the chick laying down or whatever. The yeah, trucker. Mud yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's been so many, and then you choose your own color too. And uh, anything, you can leave them raw, you can get it, um, any colors, or, and then we got this, uh, 
it's translucent black. That's what uh, um, this one is. So very excited to get things rolling. How are we gonna How are we gonna open this baby? What do we got? One of these. Boom, baby. <laughs> <laughs> first cut. Who's doing it? You are. All right, I'll Take do the first cut it. here. A little first person uh, <laughs> cut here. <laughs> We're gonna go right like this. So we should have it shaken. I suppose I should use the right side of the knife. Sharp side. Stick some <laughs> There we go. There we go. It does Boom. The, the first cut. Alright, second cut. Third cut. So I think that might be all the cuts we need. Oh, that's not even the... Oh my gosh. So how's the weight of it? How does it feel? Is it sh is there shaky? What's going on in this thing? Do we do we try shaking it at all? I don't think there's anything in there actually. Yeah, it might be. It's, it is very light, that's for sure. And there's nothing rattling around, nothing shaking. And uh, it's just a, a, a frame box. Or a, a, a box you turned into a frame box. <laughs> all, right. all right, there we go. What do you think, boys? Any comments? Looks safe. How's it smell? How's it smell? I don't know. It smells like cardboard. <laughs> it like cardboard. It, so these are all made in North Carolina? North, I think that's where we could say. Yeah, in Raleigh? Yeah, Greenville. Greenville? Yeah, Greenville. Same. Yep. Oh, yeah. East Coast. <laughs> East Coast air. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm holding the brand new Laird frame right now. And we, feel that. Holy crap. Well, it's got to come out of the plastic. It's all uh, completely <laughs> bubble wrapped. They don't want to see the, the bubble wrap. They want to see the actual frame. We're all in the box here. And there's literally nothing. That's it. I mean, like, we got a frame. Very simple. Definitely uh, wraps it well. Yeah. With no scratches. I'm calling out Dustin and Grice on a quad wit redemption. <laughs> what what do we know about that? Oh man. What are we thinking? I I <laughs> it, it basically He's one year one nervous. year ago from today I broke my leg uh on a quad whip. And, out of uh, nowhere, no resin, I mean no foam, no nothing, just going for it. Yeah, it was uh there were a lot of lot of triple whips last summer, but the quad whip just was more of a joke and I didn't think I'd break a leg, but I broke a leg. <laughs> Dude, look at that. That color. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh. <laughs> like candy. Seriously. Oh my gosh. There it is. Dude. Oh, good. oh my. Dude, there's the link. Oh yeah, that looks sick. We got. Where, do you have? A, do you have a link on you? I do. Uh, well, he's got, <laughs> he's got a whole. They're all right there. Literally every single one. What? Uh, what that is there? awesome. So we got the removable 990s. Got the. This is the awesome thing about the layer frames. There's that one. Oh nice. Got some decals here. The guys through the through the frame like the old. Remember the old GTs used to have the single one through here. Now we got dual. So I can run the cables right through there. Yeah, looks real tidy. Oh, sick. Wow. Sick and right. An extra layer sticker. There we go. Let's get a little silhouette of this bad boy going here. Yeah, that's incredible. All right, so Sean, you want to read our uh, read our specs there? Yes, these are my and Dustin's custom specs. Top tube length 20.5. Head tube angle 75.5. Nice and steep for the nose manis. Mm -hmm. Stand over height 8.2. Let's see. Bottom bracket height 11.6. That's nice. C tube angle is standard 71. Rear end is 13 inches slammed. We go all the way forward in the dropout 13.3 centered. Let's see. That's about it. That's mid bottom bracket, removable brake mounts, dual cable guys. Wow. 
dude, it looks like it's definitely a piece of art. Mm -hmm. That is for sure. Just like the bracelets. That is so awesome. And it'll look really good on the wall. <laughs> we don't know the weight on it, do we? I, I got. A, I got. A scale. We got a scale I on a it. Scale too, actually. Um, wait, 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 wait. I have. A you you scale can't tell me out of all this stuff in this garage, right you right. actually have a, a a bike scale here. You bet. Oh my gosh, dude, that is awesome. All right, we get the final weight here. I think Sean just ran out to his car to get a scale. Sean always travels with the scale as well. All right, here we go. Just over four, it looks like 4.4 4 pounds. Yeah, that's what I would say. About 4.4. 4. That's actually, that's very light. I actually thought it was gonna be a little, a little heavier than that. That is so sick. Awesome. What's the heaviest bike you've ever put on a scale? Oh God, don't ask. <laughs> don't, don't ask. Too okay. much. Yeah, look at this one. You got yours too? I have mine, I have a digital one. We should, uh, we should, four, should we compare scales? We could do that. Can't weigh an old Looks like 4.4. 4.4 4. 4. 4 pounds. I thought it was gonna be a little heavier than that. Mine's 5.1. What? Come on, Larry, what's the deal? <laughs> Maybe I did get that oh, light tubing. Yeah. You're up one, so it's actually 4.3 if that's... See, there's no one. way, there's no way. All right, Sean's gonna get his scale. We're gonna get an actual, uh, the exact weight on this. And now we're at, now, now we're, we're at 4.1. 4. <laughs> Let's just turn it back a little more. Oh man. So I gotta ask, wh what do we got going on in the ceiling here? <laughs> Donations. <laughs> Don Donations to my collection. <laughs> this is insane. Look at it. You got a PK Ripper chilling right here. This is all where the Link Foundation was born. All these poor bikes that have a home now. <laughs> Hold on. Did you grow up here? I did. This is your house you grew up in? I did. Not my whole life, though. I came That back. is so awesome. I came back, and it was all on that Huffy Pro Thunder right there in the Torker. Let's see. Oh, oh my gosh. That is so sad. Yeah, don't miss the torque or two. That one's good. The red one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so sick. Oh, 4.47. What do we got? Damn digital. 4.47. 4. Seven. Seven. With the 990 mounts and everything already on there. With the 990 mounts. Wow. That's pretty good. That's light. I'd say so. I wonder what would be different from uh, your frame to my frame, you know? Uh, I think I have the fat. I have the fatter tube on the bottom. Oh. You have the same size. I have the fat tube on the bottom. Okay. And it's a little, my frame's bigger. I did he go a little smaller. He must have known I'm fat, so he decided, you know, make this one a little thicker. Beef it up a little bit. Make this one a little thicker for him. Oh man. That's beautiful. Well, I'm I'm really excited to have a smaller frame now, because um, I used to ride a small frame, and then. One year I was doing shows, I think it was Minnesota State Fair, and I broke my frame and I had a show like the next day and I had to find something, so I moved it up to a 21 inch and then I just never really changed. So I'm actually excited to kind of uh, go to a smaller frame again and uh, quad whip could be a just quad, <laughs> that's <in> the quad whip. <laughs> yeah, even just messing around with uh, tech tricks and in, in general, and I just love changing up my bike every, every. I don't know, it seems like every year or two changing stuff up. How often do you change your bike? All the time. All the time. Everyone always... knows I'm messing with something on my yeah. bike. Yeah. How about you? Oh, good. Oh, you just add another we one to the collection. <laughs> change the whole thing. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you, Link Foundation. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Jeff. It's, uh, it is a beauty. It is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I cannot wait to build this thing up. So... We've got a whole, Sean helped with the whole rest of the build. We said, as long as we're doing a frame, we're going to do everything brand new. So we built everything from scratch, wheels and everything. Uh, shout out to Chad DeGroote as well at uh, Mr. Bikes and Boards and Deco because uh, we, um, we've got all the parts and everything ready to build this up. So um, it could even be only a few hours away before <laughs> I hop on this before thing. So, so excited. Anything else? Thanks, Mike Laird. 
Yeah. Yes, thank you, Mike. Beautiful. It, uh, he, it, anytime we had questions, shoot him an email. He always uh, eventually gets back to you and answers your question. And uh, um, he did a Bang phenomenal job. job. Yeah. Who all rides these frames? It's crazy because there's even some of the top pros out there. Well, I know who... I, I have one. Mike Baker does from Chicago. Yep. Uh, God, I think Andy Buckworth rides one. Buckworth. Rob Armour think... was riding one for a while until he was picked up. Same Nick Bruce was riding one for a long time, but I think they picked up. They okay. were a total now, so. I see. You know. Uh, I think Satterfield's got one. Yeah, Colton has one. A lot of there's yeah a lot of athletes that have them. It's pretty crazy, because it, it just kind of started out of nowhere. Like who is doing custom frames with custom kind of art in the back, uh, personalizing movie. every single frame right here in America? I, I um, who can weld like that? It's pretty. It's look at those welds. They're very smooth. They barely see some of them. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, that is interesting. You can barely see some of the welds. Yeah, there's just super oh my strong. gosh. That's incredible. And in America, of all things. Yeah, really. Wow. Well, thanks again, guys. Thank you. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we've been doing a ton of videos lately and uh, having a blast riding bikes. So if you're ever in Minnesota, um, hit us up. Sean's been coming out. Sean, shout out to say it'd be our, our oh, super fan. He's out here more than anyone. Yeah. Riding bikes, just having a blast and uh, kind of doing our own thing out here. So thanks for, definitely thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. We're going to do another video uh, building this thing and actually riding this. And uh, I just, I cannot wait. So thanks again. Thank you, Jeff. Link Foundation, Sean, and YouTube. Boom, baby. YouTube, we're building a new bike. Spaces. Yo, guys, just want to say thanks for watching. Uh, it's crazy because a lot of my edits actually come out months after they're filmed. But if you want to see what I'm doing right here, right now, hit me up on any social media. Check this place out. Machu Picchu.